Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Afro Gardener. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything or any videos that I'm putting out there, okay? But today, I want to talk to you guys about an irritating, annoying, and frustrating pest that has been plaguing the garden. Let's get into it. This pest is called the cabbage worm. I live in zone 7A in Middle Tennessee and it has not been consistently cold enough to just, you know, kill off all the insects, all the bugs. It has not been cold enough for that. It'll be really cold one day, it'll freeze, like we had below freezing temperatures last week, but then it'll feel like this, like 60, 60 to 75 degrees for the next three or four days. And so it has not been consistently cold enough to just kill off everything. So the cabbage worm has been plaguing my garden. I'm gonna insert a picture of what that looks like as, as an adult, um, as a butterfly. It's a white, it's a white butterfly. You've probably seen them in your garden, but they lay eggs on your brassicas, your broccolis, your kales, things like that. It lays its eggs on them and you have your cabbage worm, which is a small green worm. I know you've probably seen it. But I wanted to talk to you guys about how to deal with that, um, how to deal with that worm and um, how to prevent it, essentially. Now, just like any other type of insect, it has a life cycle. It's a, you know, an egg, larvae, adult, they go through the metamorphosis into a butterfly. Now, I'm all for um, coexisting with insects and everything, but I need you to stay off my stuff, okay? Stay off my stuff. And so, um, a couple things that you can do to deter them um, whenever you do realize that you have them is have things planted like um, dill, cilantro, maybe chamomile to kind of deter them from your greens and make them go towards those things. Kind of like a decoy plant. That's something that you can do. Um, also what you can do is you can just pick them off your plants. Now um, I don't know about y'all but I don't have time to sit there and be picking off worms all day. Like I don't have time to be doing that. But if you do have the time and um, you know you're more um, being more reactive because you realize you've already you already have them that's something that you can do as well but also what you can do is um, go after the eggs and I'm gonna insert a picture of what the eggs look like the um, the butterfly usually lays its eggs after it rains okay so after it's the plants have been rained on they're looking for a moist place to lay their eggs their mamas you know they're looking for a place to lay their eggs so after it rains because you know I don't if it rains I don't um, come out to my garden right away um, I'll kind of wait a little while until it starts to dry up um, if it's just like a little brisk rain or it's just you know a little shower then I'll come out with the paper towel and just kind of check and see, look on both sides of the, of the leaves. Just kind of look around, check both sides of the leaves and just wipe the eggs off with the paper towel and dispose of them. Now doing this is going to help you so much more in the long run, okay? Because you can look whenever if even if you don't look at the picture even if you don't realize what it is You can tell what eggs look like they kind of look like um, fish eggs I'm um, kind of clumped together and just look like eggs And so you can go ahead and eradicate the issue by wiping them off with a paper towel and disposing of them That is going to be more beneficial for you than just waiting and just going through and hand-picking them off 
that is going to take be um that's going to be more time consuming than just coming out here and just wiping them off now i have seen um i have seen the butterfly out here um when it hasn't rained but also in the morning when like in the dew like the dew where it's kind of moist so you want to just kind of come out periodically and just kind of check and just check on it make sure everything's going fine i'm not saying just dedicate time to do this but if you're a gardener you like to garden you're gonna come out and you're gonna look at your stuff you're gonna come and look at your garden i check on my garden probably twice a day just because i'm at home a lot and i just kind of like coming out here and spending time and i'll just look at the leaves and see what's going on and if i just happen to notice that there are some eggs on um, some of the leaves I'll just wipe them off it's just as simple as that it's not it doesn't have to be really complicated now here is an example of what they what the caterpillars look like at a um, more mature stage in their life cycle okay here's one here and then there's one here now what I'm gonna do is just pick them off and just get them off of there okay but I also want to show you guys what it looks like in their um, larvae stage because at this point you can pick them off but they've already started eating and these are the tops of my turnips they've already started eating them and you can see the holes where they have been eating them before so I'm just gonna pick them off you see them and I don't kill them I just kind of pick them off and just throw them in the grass and that's what they look like that is all for this video thank you guys so much for um, watching um, remember to like share and subscribe to my channel okay I love you guys and I'll see you later bye